So what we're going to do is a, an augmented load eye taping technique which is designed to control arch through walking. Now the idea of doing augmented is that doing augmentation to load eye has been shown to give much better arch control through walking and also through running. Just the load eye by itself pretty much wears off after a couple of minutes whereas doing the augmented which attaches also to the tibia is going to help control the arch and has been shown to over a 20 minute period. So we'll do the load eye to start with. So we need some anchors which will just start with a strip around the foot. Now important you position the foot during the taping and not try and use the taping to tape to remove the foot. So can I get you just to hold your foot there please? Let me know if it gets tired and you need a rest, but generally just try and hold it. Patients will tend to tend to relax and drop their foot, so you just need to make sure that they keep their foot in position throughout the technique. Have an anchor. Rolling a little bit. So essentially we're just supinating the foot. This essentially just reinforces the plantar fascia, which is the low die part component. Probably don't need to be as long as strips as what I'm doing. Usually use three to four or even five strips depending on this length of the foot, but usually overlapping by about 50%. So that's our low guide, which we'll anchor back off again. If you're short of time when you're doing this technique, you can often skip this part which I'm doing now, but generally it makes it a bit more comfortable for the person. Yeah. Really important that the person holds their foot in dorsiflexion during this because they don't want to fornicate the calf. So we just start with our anchor here. Now what we're going to do is do some sixes. So we just size up our tape first. Start from medial. Coming obliquely across the front of the ankle. We come up in under the heel. And up through the arch, trying to capture the mucus so we can pull it up. So this is giving us giving us a lot of arch support. So you can do anywhere between probably two and four of these, depending on how much how much control you want, how flat the foot is, um, how much weight the person might be carrying, all impact on how many how many strips you might need. So we'll just do two for demonstration purposes. And again, you want to try and overlap these as you come through, which takes a little bit of practice. It does get, it does get easier the more you do it. And then the last step, which is a tricky one to do, is we do what's referred to as a calcium slim. So just making sure the foot's in position. Start laterally, come medially, and then come around posteriorly and essentially we're just forming, it's like a, for those familiar with doing a heel lock, it's like doing a heel lock during taping but it's in the opposite direction and then we lay it back down. And again, often you could just do, do one of these but you might do two, three of these, again depending how much support you need. Once we've got all that on, we'll then put one more over the top just to anchor it all down. Got one last piece of tape to put on, which we make sure we do in weight bearing. So we can put that down. And I'll get you to hop up, please. The reason we do this in weight bearing is we pop this last piece on, which essentially helps to hold our low die tape in place. So we want to use this to anchor. If we do it in non weight bearing, again, we're worried about torn, okay? So just checking capillary return before you send someone off, either running or doing whatever they might be doing because we don't want to tourniquet the foot and cause other problems. So you're just basically pressing on the toes, making sure you're getting full blood return. And if you're getting full blood return within a, a second to two seconds, it'll be fine. But if it's not returning, then you probably need to adjust your tape. And often, very easily, what you can do is if, if 
if it's too tight often you can just sort of do a little bit of a loosening up, lay it back down, either side, and then put this back on, retest it again, and often that'll be all that's needed. And that's it.